Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where today we're actually not going to be doing three-star quests, like I said. Instead, we're going to be doing request quests. Because we kind of do need to do some in order to advance past a certain stage of village. So thankfully we don't got to do any one star, but we do got to do all four of the ones here. And since we're in Yukimo, let's go ahead and start off with the Yukimo ones. Besides, these requests lead to some pretty fun quests later down the line. I forgot to eat. Oh well. I often forget to eat when I'm not in Berna. Or the Hunter's Hub, which I guess is technically right outside Berna. Pretty sure I know the Misty Peaks by now. Not gonna bother carving these Jagia, just gonna kill them, because... I know I've already gotten everything they can offer me. And hopefully this quest will be nice and quick. Get back here, Jagia. Where are you going? You're going away is where you're going. And since we're only here for Jagia, yeah, let's just ignore the Jaggies. Here's a couple. Okay. Now to find some more. Don't think we'll find any up here, but it's worth a check. Worth a look. Yeah, uh, a pair of bullfangos, unfortunately, is not a Jagia. That's a Jagia. I've missed her. Come here, you. At least they go down quickly enough. I did hire a small handful of cats off screen between episodes. Because while I was going around, I saw a couple good collection cats. They're not... Perfect, I wouldn't say, but they were good enough to hire. Don't care about you, Jaggy. Like, honestly, they probably would have been basically perfect if they actually had the melee plunder attack thing. I mean, sure, it it's going to be locked until I think I fight a Camellios, but... Really? No Jagia in here? Yeah, it should still... Uh, I would still want to have it on any collector cats I get. Giving them more options for stealing things really helps when you need the monster parts. And looks like we'll be finishing our quest in here. Yep. And we'll kill this one too, because why the hell not? And we'll even carve her. Great. And some honey, why not? I've got plenty, but 
Never hurts to have more. Oh, that's right. I have it in my item set because I made this set before I made Mega Potions. Can probably safely get rid of the honey now. Nitro shrooms are nice. Okay. Plenty of jaggy parts. And this should advance the quest chain a little bit farther. Ah, yes. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. All right. Sure. How's now work? Yeah, it's true. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Sure. Okay. You're right, I will be just fine. Oh, what now? Sure. All right. Thank you. And I believe... Yes, you have a ticket to give me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, for every few... I don't know whether it's just quests in general or specifically request quests you do. The flight attendant gives you a ticket. And I'm just checking real quick to see if I can maybe make the Yukimo sword yet. It looks like I can't. I wonder why. I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Okay. So now... Yeah, now we can do this. Let's go ahead and remove the honey from this item set. There we go. Now that we've got mega potions, it's not nearly as mandatory. I forgot to eat again. So I guess technically that just means that I get going on the quests faster. And I imagine this one will be right quick. If only because Argeros is not difficult at all. In fact, in Portable 3rd, I think they had him positioned at the same level as Great Jaggy, if not slightly below. So that should really tell you how simple Argeros is. And I'm pretty sure it starts in there. I just wanted to come to this area first because it's usually where it first goes. Oh, right. This is the first time we've seen one, so we get its intro, so it had to stay here. All right, bear. Really? I just dodged out of the way, didn't actually get an adept dodge? 
I feel like that's going to be a running theme, actually. Of course, even if I don't dodge out of the way, look how little damage I take. Broke your braces. There we go. That's what I like to see. Wow, him standing up is a dodgeable attack. Dang it, why'd you have to go running? Oh, you're done being here. Must have spooked him. Thanks for putting your face there. And thanks for that. Easy peasy. Kind of gave us everything we needed right there at the end. Hopefully this quest will unlock Red Helm Argeros. It's the only low rank deviant I have yet to unlock. Okay. Well then I guess you can't call it a day yet. You know what? You're right. I should be gathering too. Probably be fishing, really. Okay, we'll just uh, go ahead and end like this. Engaging in the nice, peaceful pastime of fishing. I like how we've got that trail behind the sword in this screen. I really wish there was a way to hide these windows, though, so you could see the whole kill screen. That would actually be pretty cool. Okay. That should unlock some things for us, including another step in the quest line. can use the foot bath now. Sure. All right. Indeed. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Indeed. Ooh. It can. All right. Yukimo eggs are this game's version. Or rather, this game's thing that takes the same place as, uh, moss wine jerky. So yeah, they're quite handy to get. You occasionally get them from doing Yukimo quests and then visiting the foot baths, I think. I really wish there was a way to get them more regularly, but oh well. Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. 
already did. Ooh. Uh huh. Sure. I have heard of them. Okay. I can do that. That's plenty easy. And it's got the same name as the Royal Lidroth quest in the Hunter's Hub. Oh well. At least we get to do something, three star. Might even be the same quest description. I forgot to eat again. Why am I so bad at this? Either way, once again, this quest shouldn't take long. I do kind of know my way around a Royal Ludroth. Just gotta go in here. Or rather, down there. And here's our pal. Oh, how I kind of wish you had a real roar so I could just dodge through it. But I can dodge through that just fine. Thanks for putting your mane there. That was real neighborly of you. What's the sub? A tear. There's only one chance to get one of those, as far as I'm aware, and it's not guaranteed. Wow, how did that happen? I'm glad I just barely managed to tag that back leg. And here we are at red. This quest will be over in no time at all if I can keep doing this. And then actually hitting with the second slash there. Just using that for damage mostly. Dodge much too early. I need to go for that tail, but I also need to go for that main. Decisions. Well, I no longer need to go for that main. So, tail it is. Really, severing that tail is the only thing I have left to do in this quest. Oh, got a tear. I guess I may end up needing to go deliver that. Or I could just not care. I could keep it for the Zenny and the points. Though it would probably be more to my benefit if I did the sub. Well, thanks for putting your face there. Well, this Ludroth is having a bad day. Tell you what, if it leaves the area, we'll deliver the tier. If it dies before then, then we won't. Sound good? Okay, it's leaving.
So let's go deliver the tear. Hopefully the Ludroth won't get too far away from where it's just gone. Though if it does, I'm pretty sure I know where it'll have gone to. Definitely need to sometimes actually take a look at the backgrounds. Because the artists definitely do a lot of good work on them. And yet, a lot of players just never look at them. Because it's not where the monsters are. Alright, what do we get? Ooh, spare paintballs. I don't need that stuff. So let's go find that looty again. Unfortunately ran out of meter during this excursion. Okay, looty's moved on, I'm guessing into here. Yep, that is a looty. And now we've got red again. And I like that. Because red is more damage. Yellow is a 10% boost to your damage output. Red's 20%, so... Yeah, it's definitely worth it. White's only a 5% increase, so going from white to yellow isn't huge. Yellow to red is equivalent to going from nothing to yellow. So yeah, it's quite nice. Well, I know this quest was super difficult, but I think we've got time for some more. I don't really need ore here, so let's get some... Or no, I've... I've got plenty of dung. I bought some from the trader not long ago. So bones. Let's get bones. Not bad. And let's grab an egg just because... Oh, or we can get a bone. I guess that works. Hooray for stuff. Dash extract is good. Though I don't really care as much with this weapon as I did when I was using... Aerial switch axe. But whatever. Good things are good. Regardless of whether or not I'll end up using them as much. Oh, more requests. Hey. Hey. I believe we're supposed to call you Junior. Yeah, I've kind of been there. Mm hmm. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, I think I got enough. That's me. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, maybe he'll remember sometime soon. Wow, is all of Moga Village visiting? That's me. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh-huh. I don't have any of those. Well, let's have a sit here in the foot bath. Oh, it looks like Moga, Locklack, and Tanzia are visiting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. If only. Oh, did you mean me? I think you meant me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh-huh. Sure. And what brings you here? Okay. Not really. The choke it down part. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now. Okay. Yeah, I've been there. Neat. Sure. All right. Okay. Oh, thanks for the points. Oh boy, this is the fun one. But we'll wait on it. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, let's hit up Poke next. And we'll work on their requests from there. Oh, someone's in the foot bath. I bet it's the Moga Chief. So we're not doing those quests just yet. No, it's not just the foot bath. Hey, Captain Tool. Oh, no, I've heard of it. Mm hmm. Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh, and you're here from Chico, or rather, Sun Snug Isle. Yeah, it is.
Okay. All right. Oh. Sure. Hi. That's me. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Sure. All right. Who's this? Oh, you're from Mind Guard. Sure. I bet that goes straight to the uh, ingredients list. I don't know. Uh, that sounds like me. That's a lot of bullfango. Okay, maybe now we can hit up Poke, but first, let's actually go to the Palco Ranch so we can turn in those things at the trader that we have to turn in. Oh, look, another person in Yukimo wants our attention. Probably someone else in the foot bath. But let's just go ahead and fulfill this. Pretty sure we had more. Kind of wish we could do more than one at a time without getting backed all the way out. Okay, back to Yukimo. Of course, we're going to have to go back at least twice because the two people who we need to talk to have the same spawn location. Uh-huh. Oh, good. No problem. Uh-huh. No oh, thanks. And now we've got the Locklack Guild or not the Tanzia Guildmaster. Or Tanzia Port Boss, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm aware. Hmm. Sure. And looks like it's actually talking to people that gets you these. But also doing quests does it as well. Uh, let's head straight to Berna Village just because it'll cycle things. And also, I don't know whether the person we need to talk to... Or wait, no, it's it's going to be the... Her. And also you. Okay. Alright, what, what art did I learn? Oh. This is terrible. But I'll take the award. Okay, once again, just one new ingredient, so let's see if it mixes with anything we've got. Yeah, it's Mogra Crab that's new. Alright. And then... Kinda wish I could see the descriptions of these. Oh, you can sort them by usable. That's neat. Back to Yukimo, where things will have cycled yet again. 
This is a thing you kind of have to get used to. Yukimo cycles more than anywhere else. Yeah, no problems. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. And who is that? The footpath? Okay, now it's the Moga Village Chief. Uh-huh. That's me. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. All right. Is real soon going to be immediately? No, it is not. So let's go back to Berna so that we can mix some more ingredients. Really, another hunter art? And what is it this time? Ah, Critical Juncture 2. That's actually pretty good. Okay, proprietress. Let's go ahead and mix some more stuff. Ah, there it is. I only mix it with the rice, though. All right. Oh, again to Yukumo. I'm beginning to think we won't actually be able to do another quest this episode. <laughs> but that's honestly okay. Really, foot bath again? Oh, it's the. Is you? Oh, I, I actually didn't recognize you. I thought you looked like someone I knew, but guess not. I've never been to Mine Guard myself. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Are we done? I hope we're done. Nope, we're not done. <laughs> oh, Yukimo. I love the village, but needing to go out and back in so frequently does get a little bit trying on the nerves. Okay. And who have we here? Oh, okay. All right. Ah. Okay. Really? That's it? Okay, how about this time? This time are we done with Yukimo? We are! It's not a portal from which we can never escape. It's only a portal from which we can rarely escape. But that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we get started on Poke's requests. 
And once we do all of the village's requests, then we'll go ahead and do their uh, special three-star requests. See you then, friends.